Today, the nation's largest three-service public utility is undergoing a transformation. Memphis Light, Gas, and Water is moving to a new era as it is making significant progress towards its goal of upgrading 1 million plus meters in its system by 2020. Partnering with Elster, now known as Honeywell Smart Grid Solutions, MLGW is in the process of converting decades-old analog meters to smart meters. At the close of the first year of the second phase of implementation, which began in the spring of 2016, more than 103,000 electric, 14,000 gas, and close to 24,000 water meters have been installed. From the beginning, MLGW has touted how improving its metering infrastructure and equipment would enhance customer service, reduce theft, promote conservation, and create money-saving efficiencies for the utility and ratepayers. In addition, there's also a quantifiable effect a project of this magnitude has on Memphis and Shelby County's economy. I know that uh, MLGW is very sensitive to that, to really maximize the positive impact of what this project is doing, not only from the MLGW business perspective, but really direct economic impact. Uh, and there are lots of commitments that we've all made as a part of this project. Uh, ballpark figure is we're right about $5 million in direct local impact uh, right now for this project for this year, this first year, um, with a projection of something on the order of, I think, 20, 25 million uh, total when it's all said and done in direct economic impact. Ask any CEO. Most will tell you labor comprises a large portion of their overall budgets. In the case of the smart meter project, Putting people to work in Memphis and Shelby County translates to millions of dollars pumped into our local economy. Edinger breaks down how Honeywell and its subcontractor, Apex, are creating well-paying jobs. Our installation contractor, Apex Covantage, uh, they have a force of locally hired folks that is right around 130 and it will really vary between 125 and 135 or 145 at any one particular time throughout the life of the project. So those are direct hired local folks doing a bunch of different activities from electric, gas, or water meter installation. In total, Edinger estimates the total workforce is close to 175 people and counting, factoring in warehouse management, administration, and a few select teams run by Honeywell. Honeywell is running a couple special projects that, uh, that support this project, uh, water pit clean out, and gas meter piping set painting. And we have a team, an additional team of about 15 folks here that run that. So we have trucks and uh, equipment and all that that do those activities. That team's another 15 folks on top of that. It becomes easier to visualize the financial consequence for our community when you visit the warehouses where the electric, gas, and water smart meters are staged. 50,000 leased square feet located near the airport mark a revitalization for an otherwise desolate and underutilized row of office parks, and serves as ground zero for most of the installation workforce. Here, Apex Covantage prepares and trains new hires, mobilizing workers to complete MLGW's largest modernization project in the utility's history. Is the historic significance lost on the technicians who are responsible for carrying out the frontline task of upgrading customers' equipment? Not at all. I like providing a service for the citizens of Memphis and Shelby County. And when we go out every day, we try to provide a quality service. You know, installing meters and uh, moving from the old technology to the new technology with smart meters. Andrew, a Memphis native, has become quite proficient at water meter installation, completing most jobs in under 10 minutes. Like several employees working on the project, Andrew works by day and studies at night. I'm actually in school working on my degree in construction management. So I have that in about six weeks. So this right here enhances what I, what I needed in the field to train. And... 25-year-old Jeremy Yancey, a graduate of Midtown's Northwest Prep Academy, is studying criminal justice. With a starting salary range of about $15 an hour for entry-level installers, and the potential to make more based on their performance, Working as an installer has helped Jeremy take care of his three small children and fiance. He works on the electric side, installing meters. I'm pretty blessed and I'm pretty happy right now. So I love my job. Having a positive attitude and aptitude, like Jeremy and Andrew do, are important in doing this kind of work. One main reason, the installers are knocking on doors. 
It's the first step when an on-site technician replaces an electric, gas, or water meter. Andrew explains the process for water. When we knock on the door, we're informal with the light company. We're here to do your meter install, and uh, your water gonna be out for, you know, 10, maybe 15 minutes while we do your install. You know, we'll flush your line, uh, so you won't get any uh, trash in the interior of your house, whether it's in your kitchen or your bathroom. And once, once you inform them on the process and how long the process takes, it pretty much goes, goes, goes good. The process is pretty much the same for electric and gas. When the tech arrives, they'll let the homeowner know service will be off for a brief period. If the homeowner expresses they wish to opt out, the installer moves on. You've just got to learn to be patient and kind and, and deal with that customer until they're ready to let you do the installation or sometimes not let you do the installation. Morgan is a gas meter installer, husband and father of five. He says sometimes customers have safety concerns. The ones that are apprehensive, um, I, they, their biggest concern is usually are, are they safe and I, I always tell them that yes they are they are safe. I, I wouldn't want to do this job if I didn't think it was safe. If I thought I was putting somebody else's life in danger I, I definitely wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't stay here and so I, I want to I always try and assure them that these meters are safe there's there's no problems with them and uh, I, I wouldn't do the job if I if I didn't believe that. Safety is a top priority for Apex the techs receive classroom instruction and hands-on training. They are prepared when they arrive on site to complete each assignment properly and efficiently. In addition, they carry handheld devices, which provide prompts during the installation for accuracy and documentation purposes. Pictures with GPS coordinates are taken before, during, and after. Further, quality control ensures the job is done right. For every 10 installers in the field, there's a supervisor in the same neighborhood who follows behind, inspecting the work. Edwin Harbin, a former director of engineering at Baptist Hospital, is one of Apex's field supervisors. We're there doing uh, QC reports. It's called quality control reports. It's, it's a complete list of things that, that the installer has to complete uh, based on our policies and procedures, based on safety uh, and, and, and cleanliness and different things. That makes sure that we're all doing the same thing. Every, each and every time, and it's a quality install. And for Harbin, like most field supervisors, a quality install can mean more than just making sure the meter has been installed properly. But we uh, I handle customer complaints after the install. My TV doesn't work, my, uh, my thermometer's, my thermostat's not working. My, uh, there was a time a lady, uh, I'll never forget, we were in South Memphis, a lady come out, she said, oh, y'all done messed up now. She said, you have, uh, you got this alarm going off and I don't know the code for it. <laughs> and she said, and you cut prices right off, right at the, right at the end, right at the showcase. <laughs> I said, ma'am, let me see what I can do to fix that. Went in and reset the alarm, got her television reset and all that. Uh, she was upset at first, but when we were done, she, uh, uh, she offered me something to eat. <laughs> Field supervisors are also called in when an installer finds a homeowner has malfunctioning equipment. The, the process behind that is if one of our techs goes out, he pulls the meter, or even before he pulls the meter, he inspects as much as he can see inside the can. Uh, if he finds any damaged uh, area, we, we do emergency standby damaged equipment, okay? Then uh, their job then is to send the pictures of the damaged equipment, what they feel the problem is, uh, and the old meter numbers and the address to me, uh, and there's another supervisor. I then send it to my contact at MOGW, but a new meter can't go back in it, and we can't put the old back in, okay, because it is damaged equipment. Uh, so you've got someone without power. MOGW has been very expedient on getting these issues taken care of. The inspection and repair of damaged meter sockets is another way MLGW has helped avoid potential hazards and ensure customer safety. Aside from the trained workforce Honeywell and Apex are building, there's another group getting a boost from the Smart Meter Project, local small businesses. I was involved in the initial, the initial pilot program, I think, and that goes back to 20, I believe it was 20, 
2013 when we started the FY. 2013, the initial program was uh, 60,000 meters. Fred Johnson is the president and owner of Shelby Packaging and Logistics, located in South Memphis. He coordinates getting meters from Arizona, Wisconsin, from all over the U.S., here. And his facility stores the overflow from the other warehouses operated by Apex. He says the project has meant a lot to his business. This has really helped us grow, you know, and the really key point is that it's allowed me to bring on at least three other additional employees, you know, here to work, so that's been great. As meter conversion continues over the next three to four years, the ripple effect of economic benefits to MLGW customers and the Memphis and Shelby County community at large, as a result of this historic smart meter project, will continue to be felt for many years to come.